What's up, everybody? I'm Nova coming at you with another one. Figure we'd check in on AAX. Um, I did quite a few videos on this one. I just, I don't know. My heart is addicted to this guy. Uh, anyway, we've encapsulated a GAN box on this angle, this range of expansion, and it seems to be jiving pretty well. Holding support on the 350, we had this shakeout down here, which I believe were warrants being cashed in around eight cents or so. Uh, and that's as low as we got. I regret <laughs> not buying eight, but I got in as low as, I think it was nine. Yeah, only 10,000 shares at nine, uh, 40,000 at around 9.5, and a whole whack after that and we are on our way up. So we're showing this range of expansion and then we got range bound um, within this price range. So within 14.5 and 12, uh, tried punching through again after some sleeping and then that was the sell off when the warrants came out. Now things are being snatched up again and we are on our way uh, you can see this trend line that was broken and then all of a sudden the breakout, right? Uh, but now I think we're on our way to challenge, finally, uh, that 0.5, the, the, this previous high. It's not an all-time high because we're way up here, but I have a feeling we're going to try and uh, punch through this now. And if I bring this bad boy down here, this seems to be the resistance, right? And I want to I want to try for somewhere within this range so, you know, we've got possible support in the future along this line so it doesn't mean we're going parabolic and popping through this all-time high. This will be penny flipping for a while until we break uh, the 16 cent barrier, I think. And then we may run up pretty quick to, uh, what is that? Like around 24 cents. And then finally 28.5. Is that the all time high? No, it is not. Our all time high is 60 cents. And that would be, I'd be holding back a little bit for that. Uh, but I've also been penny flipping, so penny flipping and accumulating, uh, taking previous uh, positions that are trapped, waiting for like a one cent profit and then selling off and then putting in a bid, maybe one cent below to see if I can uh, get back in. If not, that's profit back in my bank and we'll leave it at that. Um, no real news. These guys... Yeah, just, I don't know, a link for the CEO who does a rocks and stocks uh, blog or video log, vlog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, um, I like this overshoot and I like the fact that we're trending upward. So let's see if I think the highest we'll get is 16.5 by March 15th. And then we got to come back down probably around... Uh, 12 cents or I think I think 16 and then maybe start accumulating once we hit 14 five on the way back again uh, or wait for the bounce and then obviously accumulate on the way up so it could be that that's where we might be going need another arrow so where are we here? There. I wonder if we will do that, come back down, and then try off at a lower tangent as we head off into the future. What's this look like on daily? Um, yeah, that looks doable. We're, I think we're definitely in this range. Uh, we just got to overcome this uh, resistive line. It could be that that might grind us down there. 
like so before we take off. Um, but we'll just try for, we want the 0.5. So let's try for the 0.5, see if we get up to about there and then take some profits and see if we can get down a little lower along this tangent here. Uh, word to the wise. We also have this narrow line. So I think this is where we're headed up to around there. And then support, I don't know, 14.5 or even back down to 12 again. So like that. Delete. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll just try and watch and see if price follows along this tangent. And then we will see if this becomes resistance. Uh, or if we punch through and then it becomes support as we come back down to that lower tangent. So I think that's what I'm going to be looking for uh, over the next few days. What do we got? Mid-March again. Uh, it seems to be a lot of echoing of uh, maybe a possible top mid-March with uh, quite a few assets. Okay. And that is it for AAX. I don't really have anything. There's no news. Um, they're still drilling. The speculation is that a major is watching them, waiting for really good news, and then hopefully buying them out. And that's it for Advanced Gold. Trade safe.